Hello, Baker friends, budget Baker friends. We are here today. I'm Deanna. This is my daughter. What is your name? Oh, daughter? Felice. <laughs> yes. And I asked her if she wanted to help me in today's video, and she did. So um, we are actually going to be working on a project here in a few minutes. But before we start working on that, we wanted to show you some baking sheets. So I actually have an Etsy shop. It's called Deanna's Recipe Box. And in my Etsy shop, I sell the baking sheets that I'm going to show you today, as well as many others and recipes. So you should head over and check it out. Anyway, we are gonna start by, with, we, I figured with the holidays coming up, it was a really great time to go over this and work on the pantry. So, the first sheet is called a monthly baking calendar. Okay, so how we use this is up here in the corner, you would write the name of the month. So let's just say we're starting in November, right? I'm not sure what day of the week November fall, November 1st falls on. What did you say you thought it was? Monday. But Monday? I don't know. Let's just say November 1st falls on a Monday. You would come in here and just put a number one in the corner, and then you do two, three, four, five. I mean, you get it. So that's how you would use the monthly baking calendar. Okay, now the next sheet that I think corresponds with the monthly baking calendar would be a baking supply shopping list. There we go. So in the first column, see it says NO, so that's number. So we would put like the number one there, like the number one. And then we would write down the name of the item that we need and then the quantity in which What's we need. The, the amount that we need. So let's say, for example, we put number one here and then on the item we put flour. How can we then put number? It's an abbreviation. Well, so then we would put flour on the line and then we'd put quantity, however many packages that we need. Um, but you could also do for abbreviation number, put the hashtag. Yeah, you could put a number sign. Absolutely right. But I liked, I just wanted to keep it all kind of looking the same. And then on the bottom, you can put some notes. Okay, perfect. So the baking supply shopping list definitely goes with the monthly calendar. And then, just as an example, this is your Christmas baking list. Now, our printer decided yes. to go a little wonky on us. So <laughs> this line right here should actually be green, not green and yellow, but it's okay. It's okay, it, it makes it cute. And so on your Christmas baking list, you would, it has the date and then it has what to bake. So let's say for example, we're gonna do a cookie baking day on December 1st. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna put December 1st, and then we're gonna write down all the different cookies that we're Wait, gonna make. Wait, don't you think you should have like, separated into a column? You could, you could, or you could just write it over here and write it oh, over I here. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I know, it's because they, the printer messed up. <laughs> so anyway, this is just a Christmas baking list, but there's all holidays in the Etsy shop. Okay, now for our project today. Today, we are going to, what? We're gonna take inventory of the pantry we're going to organize the pantry and possibly do the fridge yes very good Felice so what we're going to do is we have one sheet here that's called fill the fridge for baking and it has a list of items that we may need for baking supplies and then there's a whole other section here to add your own and then you can type like for instance it says butter and then it says type so I would put salted, and then for quantity, I would write however many boxes that I needed. So we are actually going to go through the fridge today. I am going to look in there, and I'm going to call it out, and Felice is actually going to write down the type and the quantity on I that. I have a question about yes. this. Does quantity mean number? Yes, it does. So you could also put type and number. You could. But, quantity but I went with quantity, better. right? Sounds a little more like important. <laughs> and then we have these sheets here to fill the baking pantry. So there's actually one and a half, I guess, of these. So we are going to go down the list. So I've listed items that you need, flour, sugar, brown sugar, etc., etc., etc. So we will go and we are going to inventory the pantry. We'll probably start with that. 
and I've got a clipboard here for her so she can easily write down anything she needs to write down on our baking sheets. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get set up over by the pantry and then we'll be back and we're going to get started. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. All right, well, we are back and we are at the pantry and little miss here wanted to sit down, which I don't blame her. And so what we're going to do is Felice has the list of, um, of the baking pantry supplies that we're going to need for holiday baking. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go through here. Let me move over so you can see my pantry and she we're going to go through the list and she's going to say for instance flour and then i'm going to come over here and i'm going to look and i'm going to see how many i have and then how many i think i'm going to need okay and that's how we're going to do it um once we get started i'm probably going to speed through things because i know you guys don't want to watch us for 30 plus minutes as we do this so that's our plan all right are you ready? Oh, and she already thought of something that we're going to need. W read what we wrote. Graham crackers. Graham crackers, because it was not on the list. Yeah. So we added it, and we added, I think, what, one box? Uh, yeah, one box. One box. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get to work. And then at the end, I'll show you everything that we came up with. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So we just finished um, going through the pantry, and this is what we have. Clearly, I don't need very much. I asked her to write certain things, like for the nuts, we need walnuts and pecans, spices. I never not pick up cinnamon. Um, extracts, I could probably use another vanilla. Chocolate, we needed three packages of semi-sweet and one package of white chocolate chips. I had multiple, multiple, multiple packages of the mini chips and of the milk chocolate chips, and as well as butterscotch and what else we have in there? There was something else that I had too, Lunch peanut stuff. butter. Okay, uh, let's see what we've got here. We don't need any of the parchment, the wax, always a non-stick foil. Um, for dried fruits, we're going to probably get some cherries the red and the green, and apricots and pineapple in case we're going to do the um, fruitcake. Uh, corn syrup, we're going to do one. I had plenty of honey, molasses, and then, of course, we have our graham crackers. And then, um, actually, for eggs, I just reached out to my egg lady today and um, requested another four dozen. Um, we do purchase those from a local farm. Butter, I'll get four more boxes to hold me over. We've got a little heavy cream, and you put one for applesauce? We didn't need applesauce, crazy kid. All right. Okay, budget bakers. I have to say that was very successful. We have officially um, filled out our sheets, and we have inventory of the pantry and the fridge of all things that we are going to need moving forward into baking season. So I also want to say that the sheets that we used were super help, super helpful because I know I would have forgotten things mm -hmm. if I didn't have it written down on the sheets. And the pantry would be so unorganized. Yes, the pantry would be not as organized and we'd probably have like quadruple things that we didn't need. So anyway, I say it was successful. Thank you for your help. And I also need to say something. You could also use these for your grocery list. Yes. <laughs> okay guys, we are gonna wrap it up for tonight because it's starting to get late. As you can see, it's dark outside. Um, but you know, our days are getting shorter and shorter, but this was fun experience and I'm super thankful that I had help because it, it really did make it go by faster and it was more fun, you know? Yeah. All right, head on over to Deanna's recipe box. If you'd like the, some printables or to print some recipes and we, we 
We'll, we'll see, see you soon. Or later. Soon, later, later. whatever. <laughs> Bye.